all right guys uh, today we're gonna go through how to install the survival screen bracket on a 2024 model Y this is the same old model Y uh, it's going to get a reface in uh, 2025 so it might not work in 2025 but up to 2024 this should work I to already tried to install it and then I decided to make this video because uh, I looked at a bunch of online videos and there were things in there that during installation I found a bunch of things that I couldn't find in any of the other online videos so hopefully this helps somebody um, I frankly went through a lot of trouble so I'll point out you know things to kind of watch out for as you do the installation take a look at what's in this box got the instructions these are useless frankly so just dump them uh, and then we got this mount itself and we'll kind of talk about this a little bit in a uh, future section but hang on and then uh, we have this, this is the connector that goes behind the screen and then this is the cover and a bunch of tools frankly everything is useful here uh, this is the sensor cover that's gonna go with the new uh, cover that goes around the screen uh, so all the other tools are very useful the only thing I'll say is if you have a better uh, Torx driver then get that this one isn't that uh, good doesn't fit well and it keeps on sleeping so and oh and these are the additional bolts you'll need so they're in there uh, one thing i would say is that as you start taking this out save this thing right so you can rest your screen on top of it to prevent any sort of damage right uh, i've seen in some videos that people have damaged the screen so first thing first uh, you gotta go to the settings and go to display and put it in screen clean mode what it does is it puts it in a mode that's basically you can't screw anything up while you're working on the screen so the very first step is uh, there is a cover underneath the screen it's underneath the screen so you go around under and you see this, this cover right there and there's a little uh, hole right there and this tool comes with the pack so you just kind of put it in like that, and give it a little wiggle, it's gonna start coming loose. Might take a little bit of screen and trying to do it, so it's not the easiest thing to do, but press it in and give it a wiggle. Give it a second, I'm gonna take it out and then show you. So, once you take it out, like pull it out like this, don't pull it all the way, there's a sensor on it that's connected. So we gotta take it out and to do that that little pin right there you see we need to press it in so i'll just press it in like this i'll use my two hands but just trying to press it right and pull this connector out connector will hang will just right there and then since it stays here the whole thing comes out and we'll store it on the side so you know how it comes out uh you see that long part stays in there that this part kind of slides in, so you have to pull all the way from the top, right? So remember how it was before, now it is now, right? So it goes all the way in, so you pull it from the top like this, this little part over here. Or on this side, it's over here, right? So that little top part. So we're gonna store this in the back, we won't need it all the way until the hand. So let's toss it. the cover you go underneath like this and it's gonna turn and you gotta remove these two holes right here let's see if I can point it properly that one I got that standing in and uh, on the other side the same thing uh, so that's basically is what is holding this screen um, into the brackets and probably see the brackets right there right so these are these are the brackets solid solid metal brackets uh, it's like this one right there and then this one uh, right here right this two and then once you take it out we gotta just wiggle the screen out i'll show you how it goes in 
Okay, now comes the gentle part. We're gonna pull this entire thing out, all right? Slowly, so let's see if I can make that work, all right? You guys can still see it. It is tight, so... Ah, there you go. But make sure you don't pull too hard out because... because Right there are the cables. Right? We don't want to mess it up. As you can see, these are these are the connectors that just kind of slides in that little uh, pieces of metal that goes right in here. And it fits right through. So we're gonna put, take that piece of foam, lay this thing down on it. It's not gonna go, so we're gonna have to move it a little bit up like this, so it stays on this slant piece of it, and it's the easiest to work with it if you do that. Now the fun part. What we're gonna do is, uh, this is the piece that goes in there as a uh, piece that covers up this hole. So we need to take out remember that torque screwdriver? That one. It goes right in here. There is one bolt here, one screw here, and then one on the other side, right? So we. Have losing those two and I was as I was saying this is kind of hard it just keeps on spinning but you know what uh, I'm gonna give it a shot and try to open it anyway just make sure when you do that don't press too hard on it to damage the screen right so that's another key point just keep it in mind okay so let me open it up and then we'll be like okay. okay so the screws are out laid on the floor now uh, this nice liner so you can find things but if you don't you know put something down on the floor so it's easier and then it goes on another one okay now this thing is loose see it came out loose so what you want to do is take it out put it on a side a little bit right so up there so we have access to this connector right here now this one is just a protector, it's just easy to take it off, you can just bend it, or just pull it up and it will come right off, right? Maybe it's a little bit harder when you first take it, but it's not that bad, frankly, right? So I can even do it with one hand. Okay, <clears throat> so that connector just kind of pulls out, right? And like I said, just hold one of these and put it on your leg or whatever to so make sure that you don't damage it. It will move, this pin will move up and down a little bit. Um, but just be careful don't don't let it move too much make sure that you're pressing this tab right here you see that that little tab you see that yeah you have to press it before you pull it out okay it will come off just give it a little bit of time don't rush and then once it's done this is off let's put it on that piece of foam right on the dash out of the way okay so now the next next thing is to take use this one the swivel piece and then install it right in where the screen was. Right? So to do that, <coughs> uh, obviously we're gonna insert it in, but before we do that, what we're gonna make sure is that this piece is in the right position. Now it's easy to know that this goes in the back, but this turns all the way to in circle, right? So let me show you. So this one can go like this. Now if it's this way, and you install it your screen is gonna stay down and that's not the right way to do it and that's how this piece came and I unfortunately ended up installing it like that and everything was done I had to take everything off and then install it right so make sure you turn it in the right position and the right position is like this so just make sure it's that way let's put it on the side and then the other thing you're gonna need is this new cover right so this new cover goes in here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the old cover out and there's a difference it's almost the same color I mean it's not too too bad but anyway it's gonna go underneath so we don't care but we gotta save this I guess save this one right 
because yeah, God forbid you're gonna if I need to take it back to Tesla I want to undo everything put it in the original configuration and then normally they don't bother but you know just in case if there's a problem with the screen I need to put this back on the, the original one back on and take the old one out right, so we're gonna save this put in the back seat this one and then come back to this one after we install this okay so to install this we're gonna need those uh, screws back we're gonna put it like this so this one goes down so as you can see once you put it in your screen was here now it's here it's going to go down here so it's gonna come down I actually like it because before when I'm driving and my hand is here I have to go do like this but now when the screen comes down if I want to change like temperatures and stuff like that some simple things I can just go straight and just look me right at the finger uh, where the finger goes naturally rather than going like this right? and plus it will be tilted so it will be much more easier now so, to put this in what we're going to do is turn it on one side like this All right so we can access this put it in let's make sure we find the hole put it in turn it as much as we can but now also remember that this piece is a little bit thinner than the pieces that are on Tesla screen so you so we can have to tighten so this two two sides comes close and closes like you know tightens on this so we'll do a little bit extra tightening and then when we do that when we put that one side of uh, bolt in the other one is also accessible so that's kind of pretty cool right until the whole thing is tight okay and just make sure it doesn't move right so it doesn't move. okay so now comes fun part we have to put this old thing as a new uh, new connector in right this side goes down like this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on one side and make sure the cable goes through right and then go behind this piece so it can t go inside all the way right turn it so we are bigger and then it goes in and boom we're in okay now make sure this connector is out of here and it goes right in right okay now is the little bit tricky part because this cover definitely won't fit nice and easy so what we want to do is once it's fit good down here like this I'm gonna come up and press this thing in now one thing you'll notice that it won't fit it won't fit very nice and easy right so you're gonna have to kind of wiggle it a little bit make sure that it's in the right position uh, and even then you might see a little bit of gap here now you know if there were the gap was too big the good thing is this one comes with a little bit of a uh, gap closer little strip that you can put on and then close it but my gap is not as bad so I'm not gonna use that one but I'm gonna keep on trying and see if I can get it fit okay and I need two hands so I'm gonna stop for a second okay so since this is not like an OEM part and there are a little bit of um, you know dimension problem either in here or you know how this strip is cut by Tesla I don't know which one is it but this is the best I can do right there's a little bit of gap but frankly you're not gonna see it once the screen goes right on top of this right right this here so now we got our new swivel head in it's it turns like this and then it turns like this as we can see right I mean we don't have to worry about this it's gonna it's gonna fit in in a second I haven't fit it all the way okay I'm gonna take the screen and then put it right on top of here okay so now let's get the screen back down Put this one back down here so we don't damage nothing put this one here now is the part where you don't want to rush so the first thing you do is take this new uh, connect, uh, uh, trim that goes on top of this and make sure it's in the right way before we plug this in I want to put this in right because if you don't then you're gonna have to take it out again. The connector. That's a good thing. Okay. So we take that 
and being very careful gently we push this thing in all the way don't push it too hard but you can hear the click and that's it that's how far it goes and if you give it a gentle tug you'll see that the monitor moves so don't don't pull it too hard but just so that you know it doesn't it doesn't come off right also what you don't want to forget is this piece right here right uh, you forget it not a big deal but you know what it's original part so we're gonna put it right back in okay so it's in we're gonna put this one right here all right push it back up again right here and then all on goes the Torx Torx screws right here now one thing you may want to do is before before putting the torque screw maybe just press it in and what it does is this this screw kind of gets locked in here so it doesn't fall out as you try to um, as you try to tight tighten it right so let's push it back push it on both sides well I kind of learned it hard way because you know it was hard to get it in while you're screwing it but here it goes okay now it's gonna go into the right place All right, like that. Take your scrolls, Torx driver. And we're gonna tighten it. Okay, okay so the screws are in. Uh, Torx screws, we're gonna take this and try to put it in. So we're gonna take this remember this this thing still hangs down right because that's where the sensor is gonna go so don't worry about it now we're gonna slide it right in like this okay and when we do that remember those two new screws that came in this that go in so I'm gonna hold it in place and you might also notice that the screen is off right the screen is off I'll get to this in a second but don't worry, we haven't screwed anything up. Okay. Now take your time with this thing. You don't want to rush this because again, this is an important one. All right, you need this hex driver that came with the kit. Okay, so that's one side. And here goes the other side. And look at this. Alright, so now, well, remember that temperature sensor, it comes out, right? we're going to have to take it out from here, because now the space is a little bit different, you see, it's a little square, and there are two types of connectors, we're going to see which one fits this car, I think it's this one, but let's see, so let's take the temperature sensor out from the um, old holder, it also comes with this little screwdriver, so we're gonna use that to take it out. Uh, it shouldn't be that hard. Well, actually, it's Torx. So, I wonder why they gave us that screwdriver. So, we're gonna put our Torx Torx driver again on this one. Well, it's not even that one. All right, let me find the right tool for that then. Okay, so I was able to get the sensor out. Uh, not all the two you know tools are exact the same size of course so it is good to have some tools on hand but I was able to kind of wiggle my way through this exist the torque driver that they supplied and, and undo it right um, now let's see where does it go I think it goes in here like this yep and it does so we're gonna put it like this so the holes go right at the right place right like that you see now it's perfect fit wow check that out and we're gonna put it back on yeah right, so let me put the screws back on and right back because I found the use for the screwdriver actually there were there were new screws that go in here in, instead of the ones that were there before so you take that out and then you know tighten this in so i'm gonna tighten as much as i can 
it, it isn't as tight as the other screws, but hey, it doesn't really matter. I just don't want to break it because if I try to put the other screws in, they have a different thread. And uh, trying to push those through could crack this cover. Alright, so let's just use what they've given us, even though it's loose. Might take a little bit of an effort to tighten it in, but you know what? This is what we're gonna use. It's gonna, I just don't want it to be wiggling and then rattle around as we dry, right? So, might even get like my bigger screwdriver if it doesn't tighten and try to make sure it doesn't wiggle at all this dinky one isn't easy to use okay yeah, it's good enough it's not gonna make too much sound all right so now we go back in let's go underneath here and connect this one to this one right how we took it out right so I'm gonna take it in and then then this thing plugs into this hole. So let me put it all back together and then we'll be right back. Okay, so here is the thing. As you put this thing down, it doesn't press in, it slides in. So you move it up, push it in, and then slide down, right? Like this, okay? So it just slides down, not push in. So don't try to push it in, you're gonna break those tabs. There's one at the bottom and two on the top. That's why it slides down and locks it. All open. done. Now let's come to the tricky part, right? So now all of this is done. We're gonna save our old parts and whatnot. All this. Now let me come around on this side, right? So now the screen is off, it's not turning on, and that's because when it's on and you know my wife came in and she asked me something and opened the door right when you open the door it kind of shuts down and when you close it back in uh if it senses you are in it might turn on might not turn on right so right now the ac is on but it's kind of screwed up so what we're going to do is we're going to do soft restart to do that we'll hold down these two buttons down at the same time and here it goes that's like on right after a reset I'm not sure if it recorded or not but to reset you hold down these two buttons down and we keep it down for a little bit until the test icon shows up and it's gonna reboot everything and our screen will be on we go and now if I want to drive like this it's right here nice and easy to see what's going on very easy to navigate because it's closer to you the navigation is everything is right at the right height instead of going this now it's right here so we can easily do it um, yeah, it's a little bit lower, but it's not going to interfere with charge port or anything like that, like this wireless charger or anything like that. So, uh, would you, would, I'm very, very happy here. Look, now if I don't want to use it, my passenger, look at this, it's like a personal uh, entertainment. Now. Oh, here we go, the song starts. So. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, thanks for watching and hopefully you learned a little bit that I couldn't find in other um, videos and I had to struggle with. Thank you.